Welcome to the Index Card Tower Stem Challenge. Uh, this is There's actually at least three parts to this, depending on how much time you have. Uh, so we'll start off with the first one. Each team gets a set of index cards. Uh, some of them are pre-folded, they need to stay pre-folded, and some of them are straight or flat, they need to stay straight or flat. Using these pieces, we're going to build a tower. We explained that each um, level is a story, so this is one, two, three, four stories, and they continue building as high as they can go, working together as a team, um, and then after a set amount of time, uh, five or ten minutes, um, we, you can talk to them about the different uh, patterns or uh, options available with these pre-folded cards. So for example, most students start out creating the uh, square shape here or a rectangular prism um, and that's cool. However, that's not the only way. You might challenge them to find other ways. For example, you could make the T shape which holds a roof and then you might also go for the X shape, which holds a roof, or you might go for something different, more like an M or a W shape, and challenge the students to compare which designs or which combinations of designs do the best. And is it better to change it up to do something completely different. Here I'm going with an M and an X and a T. Um, or is it better to go with the same pattern the whole way up? The whole idea is just to compare different uh, design ideas, test them, and see which ones work the best. When this is over, part two is over, you're ready for part three. Uh, we need to remind the students that the flat cards go with the flat cards, folded cards go with the folded cards, These go nice and neat back in the bucket for the next class. Okay, level three, part three, um, involves getting 12 plain index cards that have not been folded or cut in any way. And you as a team will decide what to do with these cards to make your tower. You may fold them, you may curl them up, you may tear them, any shape you want. Now there's 12 cards. How do you turn 12 cards into 24 cards? You can cut them in half if you like, and change them up. So whatever you decide to do, ooh, we can go for a cylinder shape. Unfortunately, we don't have any tape, so you're gonna have to be Creative with that, find a way to get that to work. So, whatever you like with these, to make a tower that will stand up by itself. And we'll use um, a meter stick to measure whose tower is the tallest. Go to a triangle shape here. This is challenging. That's why they call it a STEM challenge. Index card tower STEM challenge level three, part three. And right now the record is at 31 centimeters. Beat that. Ha! Good luck.